This week at Interior, Secretary Jewell has formally established the Harriet Tubman National Historical Park in Auburn, New York. The park joins its sister park, already located in Maryland. Both sites honor the life of the fearless conductor of the Underground Railroad, who led thousands of enslaved African Americans to freedom. The New York Park is located at the site where Tubman lived and worshiped, caring for family members during her later years in life. The National Park Service has announced the designation of 24 new national landmarks. The sites help preserve our nation's history and tell our shared story, sometimes tragic, but often triumphant. Get the full list of new sites at nps.gov. The Bureau of Land Management has canceled the final two oil and gas leases in the Badger II Medicine Area in Montana's Lewis and Clark National Forest. The cancellations follow a 30-year effort on the part of the Blackfeet tribe, which calls the Badger II Medicine Area historically and culturally significant. The report card is in after a two-year review of the federal coal program. The report calls for modernization and policy changes to ensure Americans are getting a fair return for public coal resources, improving efficiency, and balancing coal production with the nation's climate change goals. Check out the report at blm.gov. Secretary Jewell and Deputy Secretary Connor joined tribal members and members of Congress to celebrate four historic water rights settlements that will benefit nine tribes. The agreements bring to 12 the number of water rights settlements reached during the Obama administration more than any previous administration. Get the full story at DOI.gov. An additional $7.9 million added to the Cobell Scholarship Fund for American Indians and Alaska Natives. That brings the total amount contributed so far to more than $47 million. The scholarship fund is funded in part by Interior's land buyback program for tribal nations. The Fish and Wildlife Service has released a conservation management plan to address the challenges facing polar bears. The plan outlines actions to improve the polar bears' immediate chances of surviving in the wild in the face of climate change, identified as the number one threat to the survival of the species. Check it out at FWS.gov. A final town hall with Interior employees for Secretary Jewell. She thanked the department's some 70,000 employees for their service during a time of severe fiscal restraints. She asked that their spirit of service continue into the next administration. And as her time as the 51st Secretary of the Interior comes to an end, the Secretary was joined by friends, colleagues, and members of her family to unveil her official portrait. In the background, her beloved Mount Rainier. The portrait also salutes the youth volunteers that have been a priority for Secretary Jewell since she took office. That's this week at Interior.